Hi, Shanasani here. I'm here to embark on a journey to share with you guys about my self, about my company, Ashes to Sona, which is all about transformation from ashes to gold, like a philosopher's stone. And my subject that I'm extremely passionate about, the quantum being that I just recently wrote a book on and how you can reach me. This video is going to cover all of these things. And to dive into Ashes to Sona and the quantum being, the key thing I like to share with you guys is I come from a conservative Muslim background and very patriarchal background. However, despite of the no from the culture and the society and the religion and the country, I have become an accomplished rocket scientist for NASA. And um, the reason I wrote the book Quantum Being is because we are more powerful than any rocket or any missiles I've ever worked on. And I truly believe that knowing my own self-transformation, knowing everything that I've learned, being working in the industry where we only work on the state-of-the-art technology and products that nobody else works on. When I compare our human craft with any spacecraft that I've worked on, I realize that how powerful we are, we truly don't know. And the only way we learn about ourselves is when we are put in a situation, a crisis, a challenge, a problem, and then we completely sometimes die like an ashes. We completely transform into ashes and then the new baby comes and revives itself and it's stronger than before and more sustainable. And I think that's the main reason human beings are still here on planet Earth. And I want to make sure that everybody understands the true power of human craft. And that is why I share all I have to offer through my book, through my workshop, through my teachings, through my quantum healings, how you can truly sustain your craft in the best possible way so you can handle your life the best possible way while you're here on planet Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and do some share screen sharing to give you a little preview on my life and the quantum being and how you can reach me. You should be able to see the screen now. Ashes to Sona is the name of the company because we are all here to transform ourselves. We are continuously transforming ourselves, consciously or unconsciously. I am wanting us to be more aware of this transformation so we can leverage it and we can make the most of it. We can truly be an alchemist of our own lives so that way, as a humanity, every one of us can converge in making a heaven on earth. I have come a long way from where I was. I was in a Karachi, Pakistan, in a patriarchal culture, not supposed to go to school. And I broke many barriers to become an accomplished aerospace engineer working for NASA right now being the author of the Quantum Being book that's written in English. And I did not speak English when I migrated to America at the age of 21. And I became a health and transformational coach because I went through many health challenges. And coming from a third world country, I had all the diseases that you get to warn about. I had those diseases and I had some challenges with it. And I learned to overcome it. And because of that, I want to share the wisdom. And energy healing, we are an energy being. We are an electrical being. And when you truly understand that spirit is where you can make most of your work happen, so your physical self can leverage from that, then that is the key thing about all in existence. That's why Nikola Tesla heavily highlighted the fact that when we started understanding the non-physical phenomena, then we are going to be able to move leaps and bounds. And I am a proud mother of four boys as well. So 
the goal here is to say that we are multidimensional being, which means there is no limit to your potential. There is no limit to what you can accomplish. And therefore you can do it all. You can be a mother, you can be an engineer, you can be an author, you can be a coach, you can be a healer, and you can be Shanaz or you can be a human being. So sky truly has no limit. I was born in Karachi in a very coastal area. As you can see, it's surrounded by all of these countries that you hear about in um, all sorts of media and so forth. But I was very much a part of this very populous country and um, and it's a 98% Muslim population there. I was raised in a third floor apartment and it looks very post-apocalyptic if you truly go visit it. And you will notice that, that it's very uh, run down, uh, but uh, the people are just a treasure. Uh, the houses inside are very clean and very good, but it's just like a country itself. The infrastructure looks uh, disappointing, but the human being that lives there and there is just so much potential for us to work from inside out to make Pakistan as one of the most amazing country. And that philosophy applies to every human being. No matter how messed up it looks from outside, we can truly fix it from inside. And you can be like a lotus flower that can just bloom. So I've taken a long journey and the main reason I have been able to come as far as I have is because I did not accept no from anyone, especially when it didn't align with myself. When I was told no to go to school, I actually studied very hard and became a valedictorian because to me, knowledge is power. And if you don't have a knowledge, then you can be slave forever. Not only the fact that I became a valedictorian, I had to truly get my engineering in the United States by talking to the counselor, Laurel Waltming, who recently died. Uh, she was an amazing woman and I was able to get an appointment with her just to even get an admission at the University of California, Irvine, because I wasn't getting an admission based on my uh, previous um, background. Uh, coming from Pakistan. And um, I was admitted uh, on a conditional basis. And I made sure that I was graduated at the Magna Cum Laude and minded that I was learning engineering and English at the same time. So this tenacity that I do have as a built-in feature in me makes me very aware of how I want my life to look like and where I want my life to go. And because of this innate knowledge and wisdom, I want everybody else to have that wisdom for their inner navigation system so that they can truly do what they need to do to be where they want to be. And that is why I, tell, uh, I say that I'm a transformational coach because I've transformed my life and I can help you transform your life. I do have a certification from Institute of Integrated Nutrition help, as a health coach. And health coach and life coach to me is two in one because your health is completely interconnected with your life. And most of the times when we truly have any kind of health challenge is because it stems from our life challenge. If you come to me by saying that you have a constipation issue, I will ask you this question, that what are you constipation about in your life? What are you not able to digest in your life? What is one thing that truly makes you stuck in your life? Because if you're stuck in your life, then you're gonna be stuck in your digestion. They're all connected. As above, so below, you are the universe. And that is pretty much the fundamental of my coaching and teaching. I was uh, fortunate enough to be invited to go to a retreat at Islam Mujray's uh, in Mexico, where I was surrounded by amazing light beings. And we did meditation. Uh, we did my quantum uh, human workshop. And I had a great time doing this because I am here to share everything I've learned. And I'm looking for more opportunities to be in this capacity where I can express myself and help everybody else express their light 
to the maximum. So my background, my day job is aerospace engineer. And yes, I am a rocket scientist and I'm very proud to be able to get there because my career started actually in the very beginning of my career, International Space Station was my baby. I wrote many codes for the International Space Station as a software engineer because International Space Station was built up in the space and therefore it was very important for every piece to come together to create the space station. If we can use the exact same analogy to create a heaven on earth, we can truly do that because International Space Station is a very good example of how different countries came together, how the European Space Agency, Russia, Russia was part of it, Europe was part of it, Italy, Japan, there was just all these countries were working together to make something that nobody had ever done before. And teamwork is a dream work. And I really say that that's the only way we are gonna make a heaven on earth here. I was privileged to work on the Falcon 9 rocket because this has enabled us to be no longer dependent on the Russian Soyuz rocket where we can bring our astronaut back to Earth from the space station without any codependency. It's an interesting thing when you really uh, go and see what Elon Musk is doing. If you visit the facility where he's building rockets, the name of the road is number one rocket road. You can see the engine design configuration matches with the flower of life. So there is an interesting thing about all of this is that people and leaders who are understanding the spiritual and the physical and interconnecting it, they are really succeeding in life. And I see that connection and I want every one of us to understand that so we can be the master of our own ship. I have been also fortunate enough to work for NASA and get awards for every project that I work on. And it just gives you the satisfaction and validation in a way that you are doing something that serves humanity. And um, at least with my intention is that we do really good on earth. And if we can create a backup plan on moon and Mars, then that's good for us and for our next generation to come. I was also very privileged to be selected uh, for a very low percentage at Boeing get selected to be part of the Emerging Leadership Program, where you go through very extensive uh, leadership training. And I was able to do that. And I got an award there as a culture changer, cultural changer. And it was interesting for me because I never thought myself as a cultural changer. But you know, wherever you go, there you are. I have learned that about myself, that I came to America so that I can shake up the world and shake up my world. And now I feel like I have become a pattern buster because I've learned to recognize patterns and learn to bust the patterns that are not serving. And pretty much as a cultural changer, that's how we have to navigate our lives so that we can truly create the harmony among us and live in harmony and live in a way so that we can help, help each other and share the love. I also was privileged to work on space launch system uh, as a liaison between NASA and Boeing. And that rocket is one of the most heaviest rockets we have ever built. And we were fortunate enough to finally launch it on November 16, 2022. And I was very proud that it happened because that is one of the key piece for us to create sustenance on Moon and Mars. This is a vision that NASA had for Journey to Mars. And I just wanted to show that there are all these different pieces that comes together in a very beautiful way, in a very well choreographed way to make it all happen. And similarly, as you can see that again, we are working the, the Orion capsule where the astronaut will be using as a, as a mode of transportation is done by Lockheed Martin and European Space Agency, which is the piece that goes on, to, on top of the space launch system and therefore, you can see that even what we just did last year for Artemis 1 is an example of how we are working together and making things happen. Starship is what we're going to use when we send the astronaut to actually live on the moon for one week, because that is a lunar 
system. It's a human landing system, which means it lands on the moon. And then the goal there is to truly leverage what is the lunar soil has to offer, the lunar atmosphere has to offer for us to create a fuel and a water and the basic things that can help us live on a moon and make it as a layover place for us to go to the Mars. And I pretty much live my life day to day helping these missions to come into a reality. And I work from many different angles as a system engineer. I work to converge everybody to sing the same song through requirements. And then we make sure that we are implementing the requirements in a design so that we truly can have a successful launch like we had with the space launch system without having to have uh, too many um, failures. And yes, it is going to be a scientific expedition. That is the key reason we are going there. And we will be collecting samples, bringing it back, and we'll be have enough data to analyze and understand that what the South Pole has to offer. So in parallel to my day job, I have been dwelling into spiritual mystery. I've gone to mystery schools to understand the concept of metaphysics tarot, astrology, Kabbalah. I taught Kabbalah in 2013 to a whole bunch of ministers. And I said that here is a Muslim teaching Christian a Jewish way. Because yes, I can do that. And you can do that. And we all can do that. And Kabbalah is a very, very good learning system. I can't say enough about it. I may have to write another book on that. But here is the quantum being, the subject that I'm extremely passionate about, because we are all the quantum being. And the reason I use the word quantum is because quantum is the amount of energy, the minuscule amount of energy that is needed to move things from one place to another. And we are a moving molecule and therefore we can make that happen just by taking that tiny step in the direction of our dream, we can open up the portal for the dream life. And there are seven principles that are already in play at all times, we can leverage them by understanding them and it will truly fuel us towards our dream life. And that is one of the key that I have sprinkled throughout the book for you to understand what those are. And it helps you to truly be in your power as the quantum being. I have been teaching, healing, and my book has been going, uh, I actually got the um, international uh, on the Amazon, uh, some sort of reward there. And so I'm very happy that the book is doing what it needs to do because it's my way of sending light on in the universe. Uh, these are all the folks who have whom are, who are in my life and they are also doing their job of spreading light. And I'm very um, proud to say that they are my friends and they endorsed me on my book. And um, Sasha Stone came in my life almost two years ago. And uh, I'm very um, happy to get to know him. He is quite an earth shaker, humanitarian man who came here to spread the light at the mega level. And uh, getting his endorsement for me is a privilege and I appreciate that. Similarly, I have been meeting people through Sasha, David, Santos, all of these folks are just amazing who have been doing the work of shining their light very bright, which is the reason they a lot of you know them. And I'm grateful to be in the company of people who are all doing their best while they are here in the human form. I get this type of emails every on a weekly basis saying, thank you for my book and thank you for what I've done. And I appreciate that because it keeps me going in the direction of continually following my calling. This was my first um, testimonial right after the day I released my book. And I was just taken by the paragraph here, which says, if the vastness of the ocean had a song, it would be this book. The depth of subjects, both on personal experience level and educational insight is profound you were able to weave the spirit, soul, and body with words 
and bring forth the human experience that million can ident identify with. And I just was like, I was in tears when I saw that because this was my first testimonial from my book. And I was like, wow, I really felt good about releasing the book uh, in one year. And uh, I'm hoping that my book and my teaching can help someone make their life more brighter. Another testimonial, another one. And here I really like the fact that uh, Laura is highlighting that I sometimes feel a strange energy around me that expands and retracts at the same time. After so many years, I now finally understand it is the tube torus. So cool. And yes, tube torus is the electromagnetic field. It's an aura. It has so many names, but at the end of the day, it is how you are because we are a conglomeration of electrons and protons and neutrons. And once we understand what we are made of, what we are vibrating as, then it really helps us connect all the dot and everything that you understand as you are a spirit in the human body. And Dave Embry is an incredible researcher and historian, and he actually explains their human history in ways that I have not seen anybody else. And I was just very taken by the words he has expressed here, where it says, you truly are the dragonfly of cosmic adventure, leaving, as Columbus said, the shores of the known and embarking on the journey of true exploration, the universal journey of the soul. And we're all on this universal journey. And dragonfly is the symbol of my uh, company. It's my logo, because dragonfly is a depiction of transformation and transmutation. It is where the truth is converged in all forms. So here is a little quick on quantum being. So if you understand the double slit experiment, it really helps you understand that why the quantum physics is in play in every aspect of our life. So when you see that when we pass the electron from double slit, it can either act as a particle or as a wave. When you're not looking at the electron, it acts as a wave. When you're looking at the electron, it acts as a particle. This is the key in understanding quantum physics, and this is the key in understanding how it affects your manifestation. Because it's obvious that when you add the consciousness in the equation, the whole, the way electron shows up in the physical world is different. And that is why it's important that you understand that the interaction with anything that we do, even when the CERN is performing the experiment and they understand the Higgs field, and when they see that Higgs field actually does affect the particles to become slower and become more massive. So that is what, how everything comes into from non-physical to physical. And this is a very in-depth learning and I'm just giving you a little tiny flavor of it but if you attend my class, then I can explain you this in a way so you can understand how you transform your life from unmanifested to man manifested. But for, for here, just understand one thing is just simply observing the universe can change the outcome. So therefore you need to know what you're looking at and what you wanna look at because everything that you are putting your energy in, it's affecting your manifestation. And that is the key of using quantum physics in your daily lives. And this is just an example of quantum physics in action. If you really understand that observation affects momentum and manifestation, that is why when you're looking at something, it doesn't change. That's why watch pot never boils. And if you really see in real life, every one of us have noticed somebody looking at us. And when we notice them looking at us, we look it back at them and what happens? They look away. and because they don't wanna get caught. And then, but then we already knew that they were looking at us and they also know when we are looking at back at them. And this is all kind of quantum physics is being played in the background. And we sometimes don't understand that how all of that creates a quantum collapse to a timeline, the timeline we end up living in. So yes, your expectation does affect your manifestation. So don't expect something that has never come true because you are wasting your time. So we do live in a quantum universe and this knowledge has been hundred years old and hasn't been given to us. And that is kind of a 
where I'm coming from is to help us use quantum physics in our daily lives so we can really leverage the understanding and really make it align with our goals because that's how we can make the magic work using science. Yes, so we are moving electrons and this is a, a picture that I have even in my book. If you buy my book, you're gonna get all these pictures, but it just gives you a very good rundown on how everything that we learn in school, the biology, the chemistry, the math, everything is basically giving us an understanding of ourselves, what we truly are made of and how we can represent ourselves as a cell, as a molecule, as an atom, as an electron, as math. And when, and the CERN has been continuously figuring it out, what we are made of, and we keep on finding the smallest and smallest particles that we're made of. And we are electromagnetic fields as is depicted here. And therefore, when you understand that, you can understand that why energy healing works, why crystal works, because crystal stores information. CJ gave me a quantum healing testimonial. And one of the things that was very important to me, and that is one of my goals, is that through the meditation, she was able to unlock a pattern that she was holding on most of her life. And she was able to take the great stride in rising the next level because it's all about recognizing the pattern that are not serving and reprogramming them with the pattern that can serve you to your next state. So these are the workshops that I teach and you can find it all on my website. And I love to teach and share everything I've learned. And I would love for you to sign up for anything that you uh, feel you gravitate towards. If you wanna to take all of my classes, then this is the order you can take them because it's going to help you unveil yourself and unveil your reality you have, the one that you are co-creating daily. Because you, are living in a fractal world. And that is just the way everything comes into form. So when you can understand the two principles that's being played, the bifurcation and the hologram, in everything that you do, you will be amazed at how you can affect your life. It's like you are standing in a trajectory. And as soon as you take a step, you create a whole bunch of fractal reality, like a free guy movie where the AI, once he gains the consciousness of making different decision by having to no longer order the exact same coffee every morning, he ends up opening up the door to a whole new fractal world that opens for a whole bunch of opportunities because depending on what fork of the road you go to, you end up deciding your new trajectory and your new destiny because journey is intertwined with the destination because you are the one who is processing all of this information through inputs and outputs. And therefore you are affecting your vibration and frequency based on all of these inputs and outputs. And ultimately your vibration and frequency affects everything that happens with you and what timeline you choose and where you head. Because you are reflecting yourself through these mirrors that a scene talks about and this is how you comprehend the information and this is how you transform the information and because time is truly not linear it's just the way we perceive time being li linear and um, I was happy to see that people's lives are being transformed when they take Kabbalah class because it's one of the most deepest teaching and learning you can do for yourself. Yes, we don't need technology since we are the technology. And therefore I say that as we undertake the daunting task of transformation, we embark on the journey that will ultimately become habitual, automatic and effortless, akin to the rocket leaving the earth. At first, the initial launch requires enormous power, then less and less as it leaves the earth's gravitational field. Finally, the rocket moves through space under its own momentum, breaking all of the barriers beyond imagination 
to traverse new worlds. I'm here to truly empower you to rise up to be a kings and queens of the world, living your highest potential and authentic emotions leading to exceptional experience. Because if I can do that, if I can have the dream life, then you can as well. And just remember, step into your light is the key to igniting yourself as a quantum human craft. And it's also the key to unveiling the magical world all around us. Please reach out to me through my email here, Emerge. We are emerging. Emerge with me, which is emerge at shanasoni.com. My website is shanasoni.com. So it's very easy and simple to remember. And I would love to hear from you from all of you and happy new year. Thank you guys for staying with me through this uh, long introduction and reach out to me if you have any questions. As I said, I'm here to share my light with yours and I'm here for all of us to transform in a way so that we can truly create a heaven on earth. Have a lovely day. Bye.